Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we're going to dive into the world of construction and talk about earth moving machines. Construction sites are filled with different types of machines, each with its own purpose and functionality. Today we're going to focus on the five most commonly used earth moving machines in construction. The first machine on our list is the bulldozer. This machine has a large, flat blade that is used to push materials like dirt, sand, and gravel. Bulldozers are often used to clear land and create level surfaces for construction projects. Next on our list is the excavator. This machine has a long arm with a bucket attached to it. Excavators are used to dig and move large amounts of dirt, rock, and debris. They are commonly used for digging foundations and trenches, and even for demolition work. The third machine on our list is the backhoe loader. This machine has a bucket on the front and a backhoe on the rear. Backhoe loaders are versatile machines that can be used for a variety of tasks like digging, loading, and grading. They are commonly used on construction sites to move materials and excavate areas. The fourth machine on our list is the skid steer loader. This machine is small and compact, with a bucket on the front. Skid steer loaders are agile and versatile, making them ideal for working in tight spaces or on projects with limited access. They are often used for landscaping, grading, and snow removal. And finally, the fifth machine on our list is the motor grader. This machine has a long blade that is used to create flat surfaces. Motor graders are commonly used for road construction and maintenance, as well as for creating level surfaces for building foundations. And that's our list of the five most commonly used earthmoving machines in construction. Each machine has its own unique purpose and functionality, but they all play an important role in the construction industry. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one. See you next time.